welcome to the online program of Udayana University and Kwansei Gakuin University. I'm Dr. To of Kwansei Gakuin University, and Dr. Andriana and I have arranged this program. In this program, three lecturers from Udayana University and three lecturers from uh, Kwansei Gakuin University will give you the lectures about uh, uh, marine science and fisheries. Uh, we selected the marine science and the fisheries at the theme of uh, this program because uh, they are related to the uh, development goals, that is the SDGs. The, uh, in nine, uh, to 2015, the uh, SDGs were uh, uh, adopted in the uh, United States, uh, United Nations Summit. SDGs uh, uh, include 70 goals. And one of them is uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, converge, uh, con uh, conservation and the sustainable use of the uh, marine uh, resources. So you can learn the basic knowledge about the uh, fisheries and marine science in this program. We are glad if you, uh, uh, this program would lead you to uh, become interested in uh, SDGs. And the other theme of this program is the international exchange. In this program, uh, each student belongs to a group, uh, <coughs> a team uh, consisting of uh, Indonesian and Japanese students. We believe that the experience of discussion with the foreign students will expand uh, your world and uh, be useful for your future. Please enjoy this program. So next, I'd like to ask the deans of two universities to give us some opening remarks. The first speaker is Professor Shinsuke Fujiwa, uh, Fujiwara of Kansai Gakuin University. He's the dean of the School of Biological and Environmental Science. Uh, Professor Fujiwara, please. Thank you very much for the kind introduction. Uh, on Swasti Astu, uh, to Tarimakashi, Ik. Gavun Sama program online, Antara KGU, uh, Dan Udayana Unipastas. Uh, sorry, I cannot speak body language anymore. Now let me change the uh, language to English. Now, first of all, I would like to thank people uh, who are involved in uh, this program, especially people of uh, Udayana Unipastas, uh, Pa uh, Aratana, uh, Pa Gedekaran, Pa uh, Hendrawan. Probably uh, Bu and Dan Bu Ayu, Bu El Rawati, uh, they are also, uh, I think, supported this program. And uh, I would like to thank, also thank the Professor To of our university. Uh, he uh, <coughs> announced uh, this nice program to our student. I think uh, this program will be a, a good uh, trigger to uh, enhance our collaboration. And I would like to show some of our uh, collaboration background briefly. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, of course, we cannot uh, collaborate directly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but uh, by using the uh, uh, web system, we still collaborate. We, we, we can still collaborate globally. And uh, there are several merits to use the ICT technology. We can reduce the travel cost. We don't need to buy the uh, uh, flight ticket and we don't need to make a, a hotel reservation. And even though that, uh, by two-way communication system, we can exchange our opinions smoothly. And we can share the uh, images, image information uh, by the uh, advanced technology like this. And uh, last March, I think, uh, we did, we tried uh, global online uh, uh, communications bit among the uh, several universities. At that time, uh, some people, Udayana Unipastas also joined this program and uh, successfully it was uh, completed. And at that time, the Indian, Taiwan, the from, and uh, uh, from Indonesia, the Pazizara University uh, involved in this program. It was successful. And uh, uh, our <coughs> collaboration, I mean, between Udayana and the KGU, and, uh, it's, it has been started since 2015, I think. This is a memorial photo I took uh, at the Jimbara. Uh, we visited to uh, uh, Udayana Universitas uh, uh, to discuss about their uh, uh, collaboration program. 
And uh, this, we started uh, the uh, marine science program over there. And we took uh, several students, KG students to uh, Jinbaran campus. And uh, they had a very exciting, very wonderful experience over there at that time. And uh, they uh, learned a lot. For example, they are uh, Parteji taught us the, how to uh, do the <laughs> snorkeling and uh, diving because uh, we didn't have an opportunity to do this kind of activity in our place. And uh, two years ago, the uh, student had a chance to visit the island. Sorry, I forget the name of the place. <laughs> now they enjoyed the coral study and uh, uh, mangrove experience. And uh, we also uh, accepted people from Udayana Unipastas and uh, uh, by the support of Sakura Science Program. And uh, this is the photo of the uh, three years ago. I think at that time, uh, Bu Ayu took Udayana student to our place and uh, we visited to Kyoto together. And uh, we provided some uh, uh, genetic engineering course and uh, to check our genotype uh, from our hair sample. And I hope they enjoyed our program also. And uh, for the Udayana uh, students, actually the most difficult things is food. They uh, had to eat the uh, Japanese non-spicy food for a week. And uh, last day, uh, we went together to the uh, uh, Bari style restaurant in Osaka. Can you see the uh, shape of the building? It's typically Bari style, right? <laughs> but uh, they wear the uh, winter coat because of, it's very cold outside. So the see their smile, they are now satisfied with the spicy food. And uh, as Professor Toh told, uh, uh, the one student just joined in my laboratory, uh, uh, San Ayu, and uh, I, I hope she uh, enjoy our uh, provide program and the postgraduate program of KGU. And uh, as Professor Toh introduced, we have a 14 undergraduate program. And uh, as for the uh, uh, bioscience, we have the uh, School of Biological and Environmental Science. Uh, this school, uh, this faculty has started this year. And uh, uh, this faculty consists of uh, three departments, bioscience and biomedical science and uh, uh, environmental chemistry, the applied uh, chemistry. So I think uh, we can uh, enhance our collaboration more and more. So they are, but thank you very much for joining this program. And I hope uh, this uh, program is successful. Professor Artana, please. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Artana. Good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm very glad uh, to join in this program. And this, this program is very, very proud for us in Udayana University because uh, between Udayana and Japanese University, we have uh, quite a long uh, strong collaboration, especially for me. About uh, since 2004, I have collaboration with uh, Yamaguchi University. So we have shared lecture, and then now we have strong collaboration with you, Kansega Queen. I'm very happy, and then student also uh, very happy. We do hope in the future we can uh, strengthen our collaborations. One things uh, I will uh, I need to inform that this coming uh, August, maybe at the end of the August. We in Udayana University will have new rector. The new rectors graduate from Japanese University. So maybe this is a very, very good news. Very good news. And then so, on another thing, uh, thank you for Kansiga Queen because some of my alumni already uh, accepted as a master program in Kansiga Queen. 
Thank you, Arigato. <laughs> thank you very much, Professor Arutana. Yeah. And the next, yes, okay, thank you very much, Vivian Sensei. And uh, let's move to the first lecture. The first lecture is given by Professor Iwayan Arutana. The title of his lecture is Marine Ecology. Okay, uh, if you are right. Uh, uh, good, good morning, everyone. Uh, Professor Hiro Yukuto, Professor Shinsuke Fujiwara, Professor Bibin, student and uh, Udayana lectures, uh, Pak Hendrawan, Pak Karang. Thank you. Uh, I will start. This is, uh, in, we are not talk, talking about marines ecology. Yeah? We are talking about marines. Uh, this is uh, my figures about marines. Later on, uh, because if you're talking marine ecology is very, very wide, yeah. Very, very broad. So uh, I will, uh, what is it? Uh, introduce uh, the basic concept of ecology first. And then later on, we move on the three topics because we have three groups. First, the topic about seagrass. The second about seaweed, and the third about uh, coral reef. Those are all uh, topics uh, available in Bali. If one day after after COVID nineteen, is it uh, getting stable conditions? So hopefully one day we can create this kind of course. Uh, face-to-face -face, yeah, offline activities. So marine ecology, we're talking about coral, talking about uh, food chains and so on. Yeah, Very uh, interesting point. First, for I know the students, uh, I look from the students, some students uh, only in the first years of university. And then the background student also, not all from the biologists. So I need to explain a bit slowly uh, and then a bit basic for the explanation. Hopefully the student will be understand what I mean. If you're talking about ecology, what is ecology? Ecology is the study of interaction, interaction between organism and their environment. You and me is part of organism. If one day you have a chance come to Bali, come to Bali, and then we can explore this one. It's very nice to see. This is only talking about Bali, uh, mostly uh, seagrass in Bali, uh, located in south part and southeast of Bali. Not so many uh, north part of Bali. Like in Sanur, yeah, Nusa Dua, Geger, Sawangan, Nusa Pedida, Nusa Lembongan. Last time, Pak Bibin, also, Bibin uh, went to Lembongan with his student. The dean also went to the Lembongan last time. And then uh, in Sawangan, south part of uh, my uh, university, close, uh, we have a syringodium there, Thalassia, Halodule, Thalassiodendron, Halophila ovalis, and so on. And also the uh, some some uh, seaweed destroying by local people because they need to grow the, uh, seaweed yeah like Euchoma spinosum and Euchoma dicoton at the time. So this is uh, time is up for this session. I think I have to stop now. Yeah, first. And yes. Then we continue again at 11. Yeah. Yes.
Yeah, Pak Gibin, we stop yes. first. Yeah, it, it, uh, we stop. So we have uh, 20 minutes for take a rest. Yeah. Yeah, 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Next, we are going to continue again. Uh, 11:20 until one o'clock. This is Japan's time. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just minus yeah. one hour uh, yeah, yeah. compared with Bali time. I think we, we will be. Uh, it's, it's enough time to, to finish my another. Yes. Another two topic. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please. Okay, I need to continue again. I preparing to <laughs> to screen here. Yeah. Uh, when when uh, move to uh, coral ecosystem, I need to show you one short video. So in one short video, I will show in a different screen later on to reduce the wasting time. Yeah. Okay. We are start with uh, Halodule Finifolia. This is uh, okay. This is a uh, Halodule Finifolia with quiet uh, twenty centimeters long. This is the the figures of uh, Halodule Finifolia. If we uh, look at uh, this kind of uh, seagrass, so the 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 it could be a uh, small tiny leaf like Halophila. This is a uh, was it, uh, we call it Halodule Finifolia is a medium size, but the longer size is uh, Enhalus alcoroides. In some, in some uh, seagrass, they have a single community. What does it mean? Single community means all of the seagrass, all of the seagrass consists of one species only. One species, not others. They only ones, but dominance. What kind of seagrass can do that? This is only illustration for what's it for uh, seagrass. This is a turtle, yeah. They're yeah, moving around. First, Thalassia hemprichi, the species of Thalassia hemprichi, they can grow uh, only one species community. You can see this is only one species. And then the other species, Enhalus aquaridus. Enhalus means this very tall, very tall, yeah. Tall leaf, very long. Up to one meter sometimes, the long. If the sunlight uh, clear enough, maybe the shorter. Like in Bali, it's not as long as uh, one meter, maybe less. Like in Sanur, like much, much less. Because... Uh, the enhalus growing in the coastal waters, so they already enough enough sunlight, so they don't grow tall. Yeah. As an illustration, if you have a plant, if you have plants, if your plant growing with full sunlight, it tend to be uh, wider growing. Yeah, not 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 high, but. If your plant growing in the sedo area, sedo uh, by other uh, plants, so they tend to go up high. But the same things happen with uh, Enhalus aquaridus. Oh, this is showing uh, the shit. I need to show you what, what is the difference between life and dead coral. This is a life and dead coral. If you see the dead coral, the color will be, right, uh, will be white, but the live coral will be green, like it's greenish like this. Yeah? So uh, if you touch the live corals, it is uh, very smooth, but the dead coral will be hard because no mucus, no mucus. The live coral consists of mucus, and then the, uh, the dead coral without mucus. If the live coral covering by by what's it covering by uh, uh, sediments, so the coral will will die because they produce a lot of mucus to clean up themselves to clean up themselves. So that's why so many energy out, so the coral will die. So if you see the corals, coral is consists of so many uh, individual corals. So they're creating a colony, you know, they're creating a colony. This is a coral creating a colony. 
in one in one uh, this is one individual columns this is one individual columns they join together as a colony so it's coral they have tentacles this is tentacles they have mouth good cavity and so on they're creating a bar skeleton they have a polyps so this is a, a form of a coral in Indonesia, like a scientist observing coral in uh, Seribu Islands, a thousand islands, not part of Jakarta, mostly from, I think it's from Japan also, maybe. So many. He counted more than 500 species because so many, because coral, so many species, it's not easy to, to observe because so many species, so complicated. So scientists creating a group. Coral look like this. They, they give a name, a plate like this one, interesting. This one, they call it polyaceous. This is columnar. This is massive, yeah? This is dancing. So... As long as the, the form like this, they call it branching. As long as the form look like this one, they call it columnar. This one, free living. This is too easier to, to, to grouping. But in the other times, so, so coral will uh, kill by, this is uh, Acantatus plancy by fish. And then this fish will eat by the others. So, uh, if you go to the coral reef ecosystem, they are very complex. A lot of things all together join. Uh, things, uh, things, that's all what I need to say. Uh, I leave for maybe, maybe four minutes or less if you have uh, any question. Is it okay? Hello? Excuse me. Uh, yeah. I have a question. Yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much for interesting lecture. And I have many questions, but uh, I'd like to ask one question about the Zuki Santira. So, Zuki Santira. Zuki Santira, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Zuki Santira uh, has, has established a symbiosis with mm. not only corals, but also clams. Clams, yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, there are many secondary plants. Uh, so the protest with photosynthetic uh, uh, active uh, uh, ability in the sea. So mm -hmm. why uh, only the Zuki Santira can sim uh, establish the uh, uh, symbiosis with coral and clams? Mm. That is very good question, but I don't know the answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. but, uh, very, yeah, yeah. Why only so Santella can uh, do symbiosis with 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 uh, with coral? Yeah, maybe uh, they, they have a, a specific uh, closing uh, chemical compound, mm -hmm. so they sweet each other. Mm -hmm. So, but but not 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 uh, sweet with each other. Mm -hmm. Like uh, as I said before, this kind of, uh, of uh, individual plant or seagrass uh, sweet for a certain egg of fish, not for the other plant, something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Like uh, when we are talking about seagrass, for example, seagrass, mm -hmm. a certain of seagrass only good for a certain egg of fish, maybe yeah? not suitable for the others. Uh, this is uh, still a big, a big question. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I'm up here. Yeah. So okay. I think it's time. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Professor Artana. Uh, You're welcome. So, but uh, your presentation, so they can open uh, mm -hmm. presentation and they can read directly uh, which one, uh, group one will have topic. Uh, I think just now in the slide, you already saw, so I already yeah, yeah. distribute this. I think no problem, Sensei. Okay, no problem. Yeah. okay, thank you. Okay.
Hello everyone and group one. Nice to meet you again. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, you you select uh, your moderator between you who will be the moderator, and then you encourage your friends to talk about maybe uh, Gabriel. You need to talk about what? At least, at least you will talk not the a uh, different, uh, no, the same thing. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you keep talking. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe like uh, culturing. Seaweed, but uh, Angie also talking the same thing. This is not, maybe it's not good, yeah. Only that. Okay. Talk, talking talk quite anything, okay. So, but at least it's not similar one to another. If similar, maybe part of your talking is is not a, a, in the same view, yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, after you you preparing. You can showing your friend. Oh, I need to talk about this. This is my my slide. Number one, two slide. This is my my plan slide like this. What do you think? And then they are just creating. You can display also your 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 PowerPoint here, showing to your friend. So at least your friend can start also thinking about it. Is it helping you to start to work, warming up? <laughs> warming up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Warming up time. Okay. Yeah, okay. Please do it. Uh, I need to leave it. Yes, very much, to sir. To, to, uh, <laughs> to room three first, yeah, to, to, to warm, warming up and then to start uh, the, the talking. Please keep talking, yeah, with your friend with us. Thank okay. you. Okay, sir. Hey, guys. I think we should uh, maybe throw up uh, different subjects into the chats and then we can talk about what we want to discuss. Uh, maybe we have some key information about the seaweed stuff. We can share it on the chat and then we can decide uh, which one of us will make what points uh, on the key points in the seaweed. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's a good idea. But first, uh, um, I want to make sure what what's the output of this. It's like a paper or what or 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 in the end of the time we need to be presented what we discuss or why I don't know because I still understand what we're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit unclear, but maybe it's this presentation, I think. But they want us to uh, explain the whole idea of what seaweed is from and what we can make from seaweed, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, what should we call you? My name is Gabby. Uh, 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 my name is Yuki Katsuda. So uh, you call Katsa. Okay, I will do that. Katsa. Okay, Katsa. Yes, nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you too. What about uh you uh ha Hariru? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce Chiet. Can you? Okay, thank Can you. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Hariru. Hariru. Yeah, okay. I think my name Hariru. is very difficult to pronounce too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. So um you can call me Hare. That may be easy. Hare. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> the types. <laughs> okay, so I I think five topics is already a good number. Yeah. Maybe. So you guys have uh, any idea? You don't know. I think it's okay. enough mm -hmm. uh, about the number one, seaweed towards marine ecology. Um, in that point, uh, what will we uh, tell? Like, wait a minute. Wait a long time. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, get it. I changed the share screen. Okay. Thank you. 
seaweed towards marine ecology. Right. I think it's the mm -hmm. meaning mm -hmm. from with the third topic, sih, ba? Uh, I think maybe yeah. how they interact, like maybe some species oh. uh, eat seaweed more than the others or something. I haven't searched up a lot mm -hmm. regarding uh, seaweeds. Uh, how about in how about in the point number one? Uh, we explain about uh, a brief information about seaweed, like uh, how uh, how to how to explain it. How like how do they grow the habitat? Maybe the, uh, the water. No, 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 no. Like, like, uh, like, uh, as I know, like, uh, seaweed, uh, seaweed classifications is by its pigment. Like, if uh it like if uh it has a red red pigment so the name is rodo rodo vita or if it has a green pigment it will uh people gonna say it chloro pita uh, chloro what is that i forget about it something like that someone maybe yes. understand what the point <laughs> it's really hard to explain <laughs> um, i get your point but <laughs> yeah 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 Try to tell can, everyone. Gap. Can you search it up? Uh, search on Google or maybe Stanley. Stanley, can you search about the classifications of the seaweed by color? I also remember there was uh, mm -hmm, the thing mm -hmm. that we studied on the third or fourth semester. Uh, third semester, I think. Yeah. Oh, seaweed color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Color, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like red or green and brown or its yeah. size is mm -hmm. different. Well, that means oh, the classification. Yeah, the classifications. I think the point number one, uh, we focus on the seaweed classifications. Mm -hmm. So maybe there's a two or three people working on that. Okay, so we're just gonna collect some journals and then put the classifications um, for the first topic. And then the second topic is more of the their cycle of life, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So How in do the... they grow or uh -huh. yeah. what yeah, kind something. of energy they get to live like that? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or something like... Uh... Mm -hmm. How do they grow? Like uh, its reproductions, its reproductions, mm -hmm. like by sexual or asexual, and also mm -hmm. how do people uh, culture it? Okay. Uh, because uh, as I know, well, I seaweed think... is a culture. It's a culture. It's a merry culture. Aquaculture. Aquaculture. Merry culture. Aquaculture. Aquaculture. Uh -huh. Aquaculture. Seaweed is something. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think it's best uh, that we put the aquaculture on the last slide on the last presentation, maybe, but so we can discuss oh. also more the product. So on the second mm -hmm. point, just uh, the seaweed's life and like uh, life. why do they stick on some rocks? Why do they stick on some things? Why do they mm -hmm. float and stuff like that? Okay, and put okay. the aquaculture on the end of the slides. Okay, just let's simplify it a little bit. Yeah. And we can also put some images of what uh, is made from seaweed. Mm -hmm. Food makeup products, there's a lot, right? From made from seaweed. Six topics. I think that that is that is already nice. Yeah. We yeah, just yeah. need to uh, divide who's gonna do what collect the journal and then just put it in the google sites mm -hmm. the google documents yeah okay uh there are 12 topics the total that we have compiled um let's uh, choose which one which is which i mean which one want to talk about which topic 
if you have any interest in in one of these twelve topic, just write your name down like with parentheses at the end of the uh, topic. Uh, and it's okay if you suddenly just found uh, another topic that's interesting. Just write it down and write your name after that. It's okay. It's not uh, limited to this 12 topic. Uh, I think we could do that until maybe uh, for five more minutes so that we can proceed to the next step. Bagus. Bagus, maybe you can um, share screen the PowerPoint so we can do it uh, together. Um, our group already already have the idea of the topic that we want to discuss. So right now I'm giving their time to do some research about uh, what they want to properly uh, specify in their topics. And then we also already create a line group uh, where they can send their text or paragraph text. And and then I will combine it, combine it into one Google Docs and then create, it, create a presentation slide. Okay, so uh, looks like okay. Uh, Three June has rejoined our group again. Maybe Three June. Uh, I would like to ask <clears throat> Three June, what is uh, your topic about coral reef? Three June. Uh, I would like to ask uh, Margaret once again because her topic is for our reef damage. Maybe Margaret could explain a little bit about your topic, please. Hello. Uh, I will yeah. explain about my topic. And then I got it. A number of seasons in Erju, the coral reefs are an ecosystem that dynamic so that it can repair itself if this damage experience. However, increasing human activities can drastically change ent environmental condition, thereby accelerating the discretion of reefs coral in various ways. Descriptive activist coral reefs is the development of coastal areas coral mining rocks, over over exploitation, descriptive fishing, and intensive recreation use. Thank you. Yes, go, go on. Continue okay. your discussion before we start your presentation this, this afternoon, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we are okay. planning to rehearse it, sir, right now before we officially go after this. We are planning to rehearse all. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna share the, uh, uh, everyone already completed the script or any notes you need for the presentation? Yeah, I'm good. Other, Abel maybe, Ole, Kribosan, Hikarisan, Kai. Could everyone see the slides? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, please set up all of your timer. Let's see if we could uh, get three minutes stops for each of us. 
so we don't go over. And okay, we'll start in three, two, one. Good afternoon, all of the professor and all of the participants of this program. Uh, right now, group one would like to present about the marine ecology, especially about seagrass meadow. Group one consists of nine people, which is Ana Agung Ole, Arada Ikari, Yovita Larasati Putri, Kawasaki Kai, Made Prasasti Abelia Oksana, Putu Wilandari, Putu Echa Priyaning Aryunisa, Shiro Yamashugo, and me myself, Timothy Kanoi. So there are a few topics that would be explained in this presentation, and each of us has one different topic. So the first one would be the definition of the general information about seagrass. So please. Thank you for the time. My name is Abelia Oksana. I'm going to present the structure of seagrass. But before that, I'm going to explain what are the seagrass. So seagrass are unique flowering plants that have evolved to live in seawater. Seagrass belong to a group of plants known as angiosperm or flowering plants. Seagrass live in the coastal water of most of the world continents. They are really important because seagrass are the main diet of dugong and green turtles, provide a habitat for many smaller marine animals, some of which like brown and fish. And they also absorb nutrients from the coastal runoff and stabilize sediment, helping to keep the water clean. Next. Uh, so what about the seagrass structure? Uh, like terrestrial living uh, or land living plants, an individual seagrass plant consists of leaf, some of the shape and size leaf of different species of seagrass include a pedal shape, a long spaghetti-like leaf, and a ribbon shape, uh, also stem, rhizome, and reproductive parts such as flower and fruit. So seagrass has two different structure with other marine plants, but algae are plants that also colonize the sea and are often confused with the seagrass. However, they are more primitive than seagrass. In contrast to seagrass, algae do not have a true root system. They have a hold fast and do not have veins that carry molecules around the plants. Next. Here the some example of seagrass species with petal leaf shape uh, it's Halopila despiens, which has smooth, thin, and elongate rhizome, and uh, spaghetti shape. It's syringodium isoetifolium. Uh, it's half smooth and has one until three branches with rhizome, and the last is ribbon shape. Uh, it's Thalassia hemprinci. It has thick and covered with triangular shape yeah. with scarce Sorry. rhizome. Thank it's uh, about thirty minutes. Uh, thirty minutes with. A few seconds more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so maybe Professor Artana still here or already leave? I am still here. Oh yes. Yeah. Good. Good at this. Okay. Keep keep uh, uh, practice again and to fluence your your speaking. Yeah. So after this this afternoon. When you start your presentation, you fluence uh, already because you practice a lot. I think so. And also keep you confidence yeah, <laughs> to speak. Okay, continue your discussion with your group. I leave the group and then I will move to group two, yeah? Okay. Thank you very much, sir, for the advice. See, see, you, see you later. See you. Are you okay? Yes. Hello, Rati. Can you continue, please? Uh, maybe um, can next slide. Yep. We can pass okay. uh, Rati first. So it's going to be my turn then. Uh, okay. Uh, so now we're going to discuss about aquaculture or seaweed. In many countries, seaweed is one of the commodities that has high economic value since it's part on products in everyday life from beverages to beauty as mentioned before. We use a lot of daily products that contain seaweed without even fully realizing it. Logically, demand cannot be fulfilled if the resources are not enough. And that's why seaweed aquaculture is socially and economically important to fulfill these demands. So there are three steps uh, that you can, I mean, uh, three methods that you can do if you're going to uh, aquaculture seaweed. The first is Indonesian lapas dasar method. 
uh, or you can uh, put a line under uh, beneath the waters and then the seaweed will grow in it. And then the second method is rocket upong, upong method. So you put lines inside a caged box, uh, usually made from, from uh, bamboos and pipes. And then uh, you can tie strings inside of them and then make a line. Uh, also plastic bottles, so the seaweed doesn't uh, sunk in inside the waters. And then the third method is taligantu method. And this is the most uh, used method in aquaculture of seaweed because it can produce uh, much more seaweed. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, all the sensei and students. I think you're preparing your presentation already, yeah? I checked uh, before your presentation is uh, good preparation or... So uh, today we have, this time we have uh, three group presenters. First about uh, sea grass, yes. The second about seaweed and the third about coral reef, yeah. Each group will have a uh, 30 minute for presentation and 15 minutes for discussion. So one group have uh, 45 minutes. When uh, group one have a presentation, please group two and group three give a question and then group one will uh, give the answer. Depends on the each uh, members uh, do presentation, yeah? And also when group two uh, presenting uh, the topics, and then group one and group three uh, give a question. And then also if group three a presentation, group one and group two give a question for 15, 15 minutes. I will lead uh, the, the discussion. So first, I think we, we start from group one, after that's uh, group two, and then group three, yeah? Group one ready? Are you ready excuse, for excuse me, I interrupt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will be timekeeper. So yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe one minute before finish for presentation, 30 minutes, I will mm -hmm. give some announce. One minute yeah. left, something like that. And also yeah. discussion also, one minute uh, before finish, within a minute, I will announce. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Professor Bibin. Thank you very much. So we will uh, start with... Uh, any question before we start? Is it okay? All clear, yeah? Okay, we start now from uh, group one. Please, time is yours. We switch with uh, group two first and then group three and then the end. Okay, group one. please group two then. Okay, sir. Uh, Are you ready? Oh, uh, yes, share, share your. Okay, Baba can start. Uh, <clears throat> okay, first of all, that that's my voice clear. So thank you for this opportunity, the honorable professors and all the students. Um, we are from the group two um, in this topic, marine ecology. I'm as the leader and we come up with the topic of seaweed. Next so slide. here we are, our group. Next slide. We are consists of nine students. Okay, so here are the key points. Um, next. So let's we started with the introductions. I'm here with the introductions. So when we are talking about seaweed, we might be thinking about just two questions. First, what is seaweed and is it a plant? That might be in your questions. So it's a simple answer. What is seaweed? Seaweed is algae. And when we're talking about algae, algae consists of two parts. They are microalgae and the macroalgae. Both are different in size when microalgae is we can see by our naked eyes and seaweed is, cons is, and seaweed is part of the microalgae. So is seaweed a plant? I can say it's not a plant, but just look like a plant. But what's different between seaweed and a plant? When we're talking about plant, we can see a real roots, we can see a real stem, we can see a real leaves, but in seaweed body, they only has tally or talus, and there is only part just a look alike, not the same part like a plant has. But what 
and then the same between the seaweed and also the plant. Yeah, they are same because they both uh, can do a photosynthesis. Uh, I, I'm Yuki Katsuda. Uh, I introduced uh, brown akaji and red akaji. Uh, first, brown akaji uh, uh, contain a lot of fukukakushujin in addition to chlorophyll A and C. Fukukakushujin is a reddish and uh, brown pigment, so uh, brown algae look brown. Uh, I'm Jerry and I... I'm gonna finish the <coughs> substrate. Explanations. Okay. Okay. We're talking about the substrate. Well, <clears throat> there are two main types of substrate that are used as seaweed, living places that, uh, for example, soft substrate. Well, <clears throat> next, please. Uh, I let. Uh... Group two to make equation to give equations. Group two, please. Can you hear the yeah. answer? Yeah, yeah, it's all clear for me. Okay. Thank, Any thank more questions? Thank you, Willie. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, please now, please. Uh, I would like to ask uh, the topic about uh, biofuel and uh, secrets that are. Uh, uh used to make the biofuel and uh your group also talk about new type of uh, seagrass that have a higher density uh, so my question is is the new uh high density seagrass uh, could be more uh, pr uh effective uh if you use it in a biofuel uh process uh is the uh is the uh, the result from biofuel will be more effective if you're using the higher uh, density seagrass? Uh, that's my question. Thank you. I think Kawasaki Kai talking about biofuel. Yeah? Can you answer the question or others? Uh, thank you for question. Uh, I'll answer to it. Uh, uh, I think it is, of course, effective for... Uh, excuse me, Kai, uh, could I cut in first? Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, before we are talking about the effectivity of seagrass and turn into the biofuel, I think I need to clarify some things because uh, you asked right uh, whether the new type of seagrass have a higher density. Uh, well, I'm, if I'm correctly reminding it, uh, we didn't mention any new type of seagrass that have a higher density. But uh, I, yeah, we can we can actually explain or answer your question because. Uh, we, I think we didn't mention any new type of seagrass. Uh, please, Kai, could, you could continue. Okay, thank you for your clarification. But logically, logically, if we have high dense for the seagrass, could be contain more carbon, right? Because biofuel need more carbon content. So the more carbon, carbon content of your raw materials may be uh, more result you can get. I think that is the the, uh, the main uh, the main logic thinking. Anything more uh, question? Not yet. Yeah. Uh, well, I think maybe uh, today we are going to close. I think Tosensei, Sensei, uh, will you close? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your presentation. Your presentation is amazing and the discussion active. So tomorrow you will give a presentation about marine debris. Please continue to do your best. 
I'm very looking forward to tomorrow presentation. See you tomorrow. Sampai jumpa besok. Dadah. Yeah. Dadah. Thank you very much. Sampai jumpa besok. See you. Hasta nih. Yeah. Thank you very much. So I will close. Thank you very much. Thank you for all. Thank you.